Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com Bringing you another video this week. This week is a fresh back from my Kettle Creek trip that we take every year. We go up to the camp and spend the weekend and do some fishing. And as always, I usually come home from the trip and share with you the fly that worked really well for me. Uh, the first night up there, we got up there and I found on to this pattern and it worked real good all week long so I'm going to share it with you. Last year it was a 210 Nymph if you remember watching my video from last year. This year it was a Pertagon and uh, it was an orange colored Pertagon. So I'm going to show you how to tie it. It's called the Stretch Tube Pertagon and it's called that because we use stretch tubing on it. It gives it a little bit of ribbed effect and just adds a nice color to it. But why it works so well was the March Browns are about to come off. Sulfur's right around the corner here. They'll be coming off really soon. So there's a lot of insects in the water that's, you know, close to this color, maybe a little bit darker, but this color really worked. Uh, here you see here a picture of Colton and uh, the big fish that he caught up there, which he caught on this fly. And it was a 19 inch rainbow. And here's a little palomino that I caught too. So we did real well on it, caught a lot of fish. And also, another one that I did well on that I already put a video out of is the Queen of the Water. When I go up there, I love to swing wet flies, and I had to catch one on the Queen of the Water fly. So I caught a few, quite a few on it. Had a lot of fun fishing that fly. But anyhow, here's your pattern and uh, the material list to tie it. I hope you like it. Alright, here you see the fly in the vise. Um, let's get into tying it. It won't take long. It's a real quick fly to tie. So, we're going to start out by tying it on a Holsinger's Fly Shop jig hook. This is a size 14. We were using 14s while we were up there. Going smaller would be good because the sulfurs are a lot smaller than 14. They'll start out about at a 14, but they'll get down to 16s and 18s easily. And the next thing we're going to add is some... Uh, 170 denier fluorescent orange thread and like always I'm going to take my thread and push it right up behind that slotted bead. The bead I'm using is a 3.3 millimeter uh, nickel bead from Nature Spirit and we're going to take our thread and we're just going to wrap it over the body and wrap it back towards the bender. Next thing is some Cockdalion tailing fibers and I don't want a really big tail. I want about, you know, six, six fibers, which is a lot to some and what I like to use usually. So I'm just going to put them on top, wrap that back. Now, if I get a little close to the bend where it wraps it over, I'll just take and do one wrap underneath and now will hold them out straight like you see there. And then I'm going to trim the front ends off. Now you see I got a little bit of a lump there in the middle so I'm just going to smooth this out. I don't want to build it up too big. The last thing I'm going to put on here, well not last thing, but the next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of micro stretch tubing and this is amber. We're just going to start it out on top. Make a couple loose wraps to wrap it down and then tight wraps and pull it back. I'm going to pull that stretch tube back so it gets thin as I wrap it down. And then I'm going to make a nice smooth thread wrap back up to that bead. And I don't want to build up too much body here. Now we're just going to spin this up to the front. And this is going to give us some segmentation to our body. Not a lot, just a little. And it's also going to dull it down a little bit. And going to add a little bit of transparency. So, you know, it's a lot of things that I like in my fly. I like a transparent look like that. A translucent look like that, I should say. And uh, then we're just going to wrap it down. Make about three wraps there. Trim it off. And whip finish. And when I whip finish, I'm going to make just a nice small collar there not overpowering but 
just big enough to be seen. There we go. And then I'm going to add the wing case. Now, if you got nail polish, use nail polish. Um, we have solar res. We have some black solar res in the shop. This is some older stuff that I uh, need to use up, so I'm just using this. And when I do this, that slotted bead there has that hole. If you don't, what I do is I put just a touch of it in there, okay? Put a touch of it in the hole, not so much that it will run down through into the eye, but just enough that it will cover that hole up and seal it so I can put a nice, nice wing case on it. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a hump to it and give it that nice wing case look like that. And then I'm going to hit, my, hit it with my UV light. Okay, and there you see my nice simple little wing case. Like I said, if you got nail polish, if that's what you got, hit a little dab of black nail polish, set it aside, let it dry, and then come back after, after you let it dry. Then I like to come back with my bone dry. And uh, just take and seal it real nice with your bone dry. Seal it and smooth it out. And that's all that's to this simple little fly that we caught a lot of fish on. There you go, folks. Okay, there you saw that was a very easy fly to tie. Very simple one, just a couple pieces of material. But it catches a lot of fish because it does what it's supposed to do. Imitate a mayfly, get to the bottom quickly. Two things that you want to do when you're nymph fishing. And it does it quite well. Um, you can go a little smaller on the bead. Uh, use whatever kind of black UV or nail polish, whichever one you have handy, and um, you know, put that little wing case on it. If you want, put it on the eye side because it's going to ride hook side up, so that puts your wing case on the top. But don't get into that battle because it doesn't really matter. Fish don't care if it's top or bottom. If it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, rolling through the currents, you're going to be flipping around and it's going to be on the top at some point. So, anyhow. Give this fly a try and other ones I tie. Um, these are flies that I fish here in Pennsylvania and around the country, you know, whenever I get the chance to get out and fish uh, elsewhere. So if you got any questions, please take the time, shoot me an email, wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. And uh, go on over to our webpage at wholesingersflyshop.com for all the materials you need to tie this fly and others. So thanks again for watching. Until next week, I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.